Hi, it's Pastor Smith. We're back again. This is the week of November 2nd. Our teacher of the week is Mrs. Kelly Monroe, and she's excited to be here. You can just see that in her face. I'm very excited. <laughs> uh, so she's not one that always likes to do these things she shared with me, but she um, <laughs> graciously decided to because I told her she had to. Uh, so Kelly, where we're going to start is uh, if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself and your background and, and about your family. Okay. Well, um, I'm married to my husband. Uh, we met at Lutheran East um, High School, and we both attended Concordia Ann Arbor together, and we got married in 1992, um, so we've been married for 28 years. Uh, we have four children. I have three boys and a girl, uh, 23, 21, 19, and 15. My older son is also married to my um, daughter-in-law, and they live in Grand Rapids area. Mm -hmm. um, I have a brother and a mother that live in the area. Uh, extended family and family are very important to me, so we spend a lot of time together. Well, your brother's been a con topic of conversation in this room today because he's cutting the lawn outside, and every time yes, we get ready, is. we're worried about the lawnmower or the weed whip or something. We so. got to say hello to each other today, which was <laughs> nice. Uh, now how long have you been with us here at St. John as a teacher, Kelly? Um, I started here in 2008, so it's been, what, 13 years? This will be my thir finishing my 13th year. Um, I started out teaching when I graduated from Concordia Ann Arbor. I was placed to do my student teaching at St. Peter's East Point, okay. and I did my student teaching in first grade. Um, the following year, there was an opening in the second grade class, so I received a call to teach second grade at St. Peter's East Point. So I taught there from um, 1991 to 2000, okay. and then 2000, I decided to stay home and take care of my family, so I was a stay-home mm -hmm. mom, um, and then in 2008, I returned back to school to teach here at St. John Fraser and received a call to teach the preschool program, mm -hmm. um, so I've been teaching for 22 years, and I was home with my children for... Eight years. Yeah, and you came to us, and, and you were a short-term help outer. I, I was. I <laughs> so was. I'm glad that we at St. John measure our short-term different than other places. <laughs> yeah. That's always nice to have, isn't it? Yeah. I have to tell you, one of my favorite memories of you before you started the teacher, and I've shared this with you many, many times, was when your youngest son was born. Because you would come down the hall in a, with the stroller, and all the three other ones are all hanging onto that stroller, mm -hmm. not because you made them, but they were protecting their little brother. Yeah. yeah, and sometimes now I think they like to strangle them. But, you know, that's good. That's good brotherly yeah. affection yes. to, to them. So um, Unique situation with me is that, yes, I was a parent here before mm -hmm. I took the role of being a teacher. And... Um, the, the man that called me back into teaching happened to be my eighth grade teacher, <laughs> who then became my principal, which was Mr. David Waltz. So, uh, yeah. um, it's funny how think, it goes around, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, as you've taught all these years, and it doesn't have to be just here, but just generally speaking, what has brought you, what brings you the most happiness as you interact with the kids and their families? Um, I was thinking about that a lot. I really love um, to, in this position, I love that I teach the threes and the fours. Mm -hmm. um, not a lot of teachers can see that amount of growth in two years. Yeah. So it's very fulfilling to start when they're very, very young, some of them being two and a half years mm -hmm. old, and then having them for a complete two years, yeah. of course, with summer breaks in there. But it's very rewarding to see all their growth. And I've always really enjoyed um, working with families. I enjoy the camaraderie mm -hmm. between the parents. Um, I like to work together, um, the child, the teacher, and the parent to get the best outcome that we can for the development of the child and the growth of the family. So mm -hmm. that's very um, intriguing to me, and um, I'm very passionate about it. Yeah, you know, because you don't only get to help the children grow, you get to help the families grow, yeah. right? Yeah. And that, that is that is a unique situation, and that, that is fun. I, I look at the difference, you, know, you talk about the growth of the children, um, the difference between the way a, a kid acts at the end of the seventh grade, mm -hmm. and then when I see them at the beginning or in the eighth grade or two months into the eighth grade, how much the maturity has come, and um, 
it's it's fun to see it, but then to do it at three to five, basically, yes. that that's just huge. I believe it that, is. That, that that's a neat thing. It is. Um, is there anything else you would like to, just to share uh, with the people that are watching to help them get to know you, or just to share a thought with them at this time? Yeah. Um, I love um, to spend time outside of the classroom as well. I am always looking at personal growth for myself. Mm -hmm. um, I always like to become a better parent, a better teacher. Uh, when I was home during the eight years taking care of my family, I finished my master's degree in early childhood education, and it was actually a study on my own kids um, at their <laughs> different ages on literacy okay. and how reading to mm -hmm. your children at home can influence their mm -hmm. education at school. Um, so I enjoy continued growth like that. I like to read. I like to bake. I like to cook. I like to party plan. I like to... And I like to eat at all those events. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I like to decorate. I like to walk. I spend a lot of time camping with my family. Mm -hmm. So I enjoy those things. Um, I feel very blessed to be here at St. John's. Um, I love the camaraderie between the staff, um, mm -hmm. the connection between church and school, and yeah. the support that we have from our pastors Thank and you. our principals and the um, the parent the parents that we have here are are top notch um, in the support that they give us so I feel very blessed yeah. and very thankful for the opportunity that I've been given to serve here you know um, this is a unique place and I, you know I, I'm kind of in, people think I'm supposed to say that because I'm the pastor here and mm -hmm. Kelly you've been with me long enough right yeah. you know I, I speak the truth mm -hmm. <laughs> plainly yeah. But in love, right? Um, but this is a different place. This is we're, we're really blessed to have this. Uh, I thank you for your time today. I thank you for your work and your service because you are a huge blessing. And Lord willing that everything goes the way it's supposed to, next year Kelly's going to have a really nice preschool room. Yeah. So keep that in your prayers and everything as we look at the remodel so she can get into a nice big space. Yeah. And I'm excited about that possibility, I want to say one last thing. I just want to thank everybody here at St. John's, and I want to thank God. To God be the glory. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we thank you for tuning in and spending time with uh, Mrs. Monroe and myself, and I hope you got to know her a little better today. The Lord be with you.